else in here you're dealing with illness and specifically what's coming to me right now? Blood pressure issues. Thank you, man of God. Can we give my brother a hand? <laughs> Who's dealing with blood? Some, some people dealing with blood. Stand up wherever you are, dealing with blood. Blood issues. You're dealing with blood issues. You're dealing with blood issues. Here's what he said. He said, lay hands on, call for the elders, lay hands on the sick, and they shall what? Recover. Recover. So when we pray, the first thing you need to know, whatever issues you're dealing with is illegal in your body. Amen. That's the first thing. First thing is not your blood pressure. It's an intruder. Thank you. Thank you. I just saw the spirit of infirmity leave here. There's a lady, there are people that can see in the spirit. And I know it's hard for some of us to believe. There's a lady that periodically she'll come to the guest center. And what that lady tell us all the time? She tells me all the time. She said, I see a huge angel following you. People can see in the spirit. And it's not weird. I literally saw the spirit of infirmity leaving here. So I'm going to pray for you. And Pastor T, whoever's on that side, I want you on that side. And then whoever comes on that side, we're going to pray corporately. The spirit of infirmity has already left. Because we've already claimed authority. Y'all got it? We've claimed what? Authority. Always remember, kingdoms operate off authority. Not whims and not feelings. I am declaring in the name of Jesus in your ears. I rebuke in the name of Jesus the spirit of infirmity that's attempted to manifest itself in your body through blood issues. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak total wholeness and restoration in your body. I declare that your sins are forgiven, if any. And that you will go and experience the power of the Most High God. That from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, whatever has been happening abnormal with the blood in your body, I now speak by the Spirit of God that your blood is cleansed, healed, and you shall walk in divine health. In Jesus' name, amen. So anybody on this side, come to this aisle, Pastor T. We have another bottle of oil. Yes, sir. Perfect. Pastor T, you step right up there. Right there, right there. They're going to meet you right there. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Where's Minister Kenny? So anybody on this side, we've already prayed. What we're doing is the word of God say, lay hands on the sick. If any among you sick, call for the elders. We've called them. We prayed. And now it says, lay hands all on them. And that the oil is symbolic of the power of God's spirit has already healed you. We're doing something tangible now because that's what the word of God says. So anybody on this side, you already healed, but come on and let him put the oil on you. Come on. Come on. For all those that are just looking, I want you to be in agreement just in case. Now, who in here God is calling? It's time for you to get saved. Time for you to get born again. God has already called your name and he's speaking to you. 
I want you to raise your hand. Pastor Nias, I'm getting saved today. You heard me tell part of my story. I see that hand. I see the hand. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who else have your hand up? The Spirit of God is talking to you right now. It's time for you to get born again. Don't go out the same way you came in. Come on. Praise the Lord. Who else? I see your hand, sir. Who else? God is calling you. I see it. Thank you, ma'am. Who else? Who else? You got to love it. Because the Spirit of God dropped. He says his doctrine is like dew. And it distills like dew. And his doctrine drops like rain. And that's what we did. It just did it through the stories. Who else is supposed to have your hand up? The Spirit of God is dealing with you. I see you, sir. I see you. Who else? Who else? Who else? And if you raise your hand, I want you to come down and see me. Come right here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Right there. Come on. Come on. Ushers. Do we have any more ushers? Yeah. Yeah. Preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. Tell about your experience in having lived the gospel. And watch people. God is already dealing with them. But when you make it where people can understand, it makes it even easier to hear God's voice. Because you know God is no respect of person. Who else is supposed to be up here? God is dealing with you. And you notice, you don't have to go into a whole lot of conversation as it relates to salvation. Y'all remember uh, Paul? That light was brighter than the noonday sun. As soon as he saw it, he on his knees. So God doesn't need us to get people saved. All we have to do is invite them, lead them, and be examples. Or better yet, let... Be an example that God can sample you. They need a sample too. Y'all got it? I go to the, sometimes they have that cologne and they give you samples. How many of y'all know the samples is the real thing? Y'all got it? So not only you, God wants you to be an example, he wants you to be a what? A sample. There are some examples, but you can't help because you're not a sample. Who else is supposed to be up here? There are some other people God dealing with. And I like to take my time before I pray. Who the Spirit of God is talking to you? I want you to know that voice. Y'all remember I talked about the light and the voice? Y'all remember that? Man, if I tell you how many times I heard the voice and when I did it, but I would also tell you how many times I didn't hear it and I acted. I know. I know when I got it wrong, and I know when I've gotten it right. And I'm not ashamed to tell either of them. Who else is supposed to be up here? The Spirit of God dealing with some other people. Come on, ma'am. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anybody else? God has ministered to our brothers up here too. Who else? Who else? We like to wait for you. You can go sit in a garage all day long. You'll never become a car. You can sit in church all day long until you get born again. You will not have the power to overcome evil and sin. I'm so excited. I'm so glad to be in this generation. I'm so glad for you to be here. You should be excited. Connecting your purpose here. 
Find out what God has called you to be and do here. You haven't seen anything yet. But you got to get here to call and get in the game. And watch what God does. Who else? I sense there's still a couple of people. God's dealing with your heart. All I want you to do, I want to teach you how to respond to that voice. Stop running it through your head. If I had run that football team through my head, if I had said, you know what, no, they've been pranking four a day, uh, uh, two a days for five weeks, or if I had thought to myself, man, no, I can't, I can't tell my parents this. I'm the last one. My parents paying for my education. I'm the last one. I'm getting ready to get off their dime. I can't tell my parents. If I had run that through my head, I wouldn't be able to tell you the story. And too many of us, God is speaking to you but you're running it through your head. All I wanted to know, God, are you real? And if you are, show me how you relate to us in everyday life. He's calling you. He said, the day you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. In other words, don't, don't close the door. Who else would stand up and say, Pastor Neus, I hear a voice saying to me, and I'm going to respond today. I'm not going to wait some other time. I hear a voice speaking to me now. Who else am I talking with? I want you to learn to hear that voice. If you learn to hear his voice, I promise you, man, you'll save yourself a whole lot of unnecessary heartaches particularly in a church. Anybody else? It's time to pray. Would you lift up your hands? Pray this prayer with me, Heavenly Father. You are amazing. You selected me. And I accept your invitation. I believe that Jesus Christ Christ is your son. son. He is the Messiah. Messiah. You raised him from the dead. dead. Lord Jesus, Jesus, I receive you now now as my Lord Lord and my Savior. Savior. I repent of my sins. I I denounce denounce Satan. Satan and any of his work in my life and I declare that Jesus is Lord and Christ is my King I believe I am saved I am saved come on fam congratulations you go with our team congratulations congratulations Congratulations. Congratulations. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Y'all hear all that excitement back there? Come on, let's get excited in here. Come on. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. 